Hey everybody, check it out. This is the last update on the eight-year-old, three-foot-tall avocado tree. I did a video on this tree last year. I'll post the link up here in the top. You guys can check it out if you want. But look at it now. It is dead. It's gone. And it was looking luscious and beautiful and had a lot of fruit on it just about three months ago. And it declined very, very, very fast. And now it's, it's a goner. Rest in peace. So the lesson I learned is that I will never plant another avocado tree or another tree in, in general with any kind of amendment, any kind of organic matter, any kind of fertilizer, no compost, nothing. I'll never put that in the planting hole. I'll never put it in the soil zone. And again, I'll, I'm never going to plant a tree in a container that has wood chips or wood bark or anything like that in it around the roots. I'll put all that stuff on top because when I planted this tree back in 2011, I didn't know so much about trees, so the nursery I got it from, they said, hey, you should plant the area with cactus mix. Put cactus mix around the soil zone and the tree's gonna do great. So I did, I put a lot of cactus mix in the ground and um, this is the result you're seeing now as a result of that because what happens is that cactus mix had a lot of wood, a lot of wood shavings, a lot of wood bark in it. And wood breaks down and it starts to rot. And when it rots, it steals oxygen from the roots from the roots of trees. When it steals oxygen from the roots, the roots can't survive. Roots need oxygen just like us humans need oxygen. And the tree slowly, actually in this case, it rapidly declined. And that rot that happens in wood takes time. It could take five years, it could take six years. In this case, it took nine years. And I should have learned my lesson from my neighbor over there who lives behind me, Fred. When he saw me planting this tree, he said, Stop putting cactus picks. Don't put anything. The soil here is great. The soil in this area is amazing. This place used to be all celery fields, all strawberry fields way back in the day. He's a, he's a, he was an older gentleman. He's passed now. Rest in peace. And he's a, he was a bonsai farmer and he, he, he knew a lot about plants. And he said, look, put nothing. Just plant the, the tree in the native soil. It's going to do great. And me thinking I had done a little bit of research and uh, online and talked to a few other people, nursery people, and they were saying, yeah, yeah, put, uh, put cactus mix, put amendment, amend the soil to make it better. I should have listened to my neighbor, Fred. And I confirmed this also with Gary Matsuoka. He's the owner of Laguna Hills Nursery. Check out his YouTube channel. Amazing, amazing YouTube channel. He confirmed it as well. He said a lot of nurseries sell trees that have just poor soil and once you put them in the ground, they start to, that soil starts to rot away and your tree will eventually perish. So that's a great lesson I learned. I'm never going to do it again. Check it out. I had this, this, that's an avocado. Can you believe? <laughs> Look at that thing. Poor guy. I feel really bad, but um, I'm looking forward to taking this out and then planting. Knowing what I know now, I can, I can put like three trees here and I think I'll do that and I'll multi-graft each of them. The really concerning thing actually with this what's going on here is that I planted this this is the multi grafted avocado tree check it out the multi grafted avocado I've done a lot of videos on this tree I'll put some up here in the top you guys can check it out but it's got a quite a good good amount of fruit on it now there's a Nabal avocado there's there's avocados all over here there's a Helen avocado right there so I planted this tree in the same kind of mix the cactus mix and so there's a lot of wood shavings of wood bark in the soil zone down below where the roots are and so i'm i'm concerned this tree might might have the same fate as this tree unfortunately because uh yeah it's this i feel there's rot going on down there so from now on all the organic stuff all the amendment all the fertilizer are going to go on top on top of the soil where the roots can't or where the roots aren't directly touching it and all those nutrients will flow down into the roots. And that's how, that's how it is in all forests. That's how it is in nature. You go out in nature, all forest, all the roots are in soil, inert, inert matter. So sand, silt, clay, volcanic rock. It could be anything. Uh, but as long as it's not organic, no, it has to be inert. It has to be mineral. So um, I'm going to replace this. I have to dig all this area out. I'm going to dig it all out, all the soil out because it's rotted wood. And I'm going to replace it with decomposed granite and that's completely mineral and avocados and all trees love being planted in in decomposed granite so ah sucks to see the tree like this but I'm glad I see I see a lot of opportunity in the future 
for having better stuff and putting and getting getting new lessons, getting new knowledge, and uh, and getting stronger every day. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Bye.